What's going on people? Welcome back to the Rogano Ops family. And today I'm going to be talking about reconnecting back to the child self or the child. So as a person speaking from experience, as I'm learning as an artist and also developing myself as a, as a person, uh, you know, evolving to become, you know, a better version of myself. You know, I remember as a child, all I did was, you know, play with my aluminum foil made toys or draw in the books and whatnot. And I had no worries. I may have had struggles and challenges, but my mindset towards these struggles and challenges were fun instead of a very stressful mindset towards them. And not to mention that my lane of focus were was very powerful within whatever whatever um, course I decided to you know take whatever lane of you know whatever vision that, that I decided to just to take my lane of focus was powerful in but then things started changing when I started getting within specific schools you know or you know undergoing you know religious indoctrinations you know and you know I started hanging around certain family or friends that or even had classmates that had and and teachers that affected my state of mind and the self-esteem and then I started living for other people's expectations and you know as you as you start to grow old and as, as I started to grow old you begin to see the though you, be, you begin to learn things about the world you see it to be a very horrifying place you start to learn some horrifying histories of mankind or so and, you know but at the same time that's not to say that there aren't any amazing things that happen within mankind and there are also you know beautiful things in in our histories you know if you take a look at it but you start to have a collection of this in information that you start to shape from your specific perspective of how you you're, you were brought up you start to have your own individual opinions your own you know your own likes your own dislikes just based on how you grow grew up so and so like the main point is as like people are go growing within this world they start to leave their their um child self behind as they're being molded by their their environment the people that they're around etc they start to forget about that the child self so to say and you start to lose all the positive aspects of being a child i mean people would say children have an easier time learning learning information you know they i feel children have like a they're they're pretty much kind of like a sponge of information you know and like the first few stages of a child's life is important because it can make or break the child you know so, so and so like one important key point that I want to um, show is that a child has like a very strong amount of focus when it's doing something that he or she loves you know so you know within these and also within these early stages of childhood they do not have any mental blockages which blocks them you know the the mental blockages start to come in when they're probably imposed by parents peers environments experiences you know or anything under the bolt of you know of you know experiencing life you know the people that you meet that's when the mental blockages they start to you know mold who you are you know but I don't feel the mental blockages are is what what you are really. They're just they just came from other people, and you've just this and the person or the individual has just decided to you know stick around with them, you know. And sometimes it can be challenging to get rid of these uh, these ment mental blockages, you know. And sometimes people are just unaware that they have the mental blockages in the first place. And I personally feel that mental blockages are can be what prevent a person from discovering their own genius. So I remember back in my days, in you know, in in the schools, you know, when I wasn't good at you know math, reading and writing, everything I 
would try to learn everything I would try to learn or everything they would people would try to teach me I'd start bawling out tears you know and the teachers and the teachers and the and, and the tutors and the tutors teachers and the tutors didn't understand why you know but you know but looking back you know I was afraid of the process of learning and you know getting things wrong because of prior traumatic experiences I had while learning certain topics you know in terms of learning so like during the, my time of you know childhood I wasn't aware that I was getting rid of certain mental blockages while I was playing video games but they were happening and I was learning as I was going along so you know I was playing you know I loved video games you know I liked you know games like Pokemon or you know all that other stuff you know that caused that caused me to to read the text you know and that taught me how to read much more better just video games really helped me how to read and they also helped heal some of the mental blockages now when I was playing you know games like Pokemon I wasn't really aware that you know I wasn't saying that oh this game will help me learn how to read I I must learn it you know I was just I was just really getting into that experience you know it was fun for me you know I wasn't even thinking about reading but reading just came it was just a it was just a byproduct you know and that's how I learned you know some things about reading you know and more about you know and there were other games as well you know and so I felt the main thing that was missing was being having a balance more of a balance of fun and playfulness and not taking it so seriously as I had before and when I started you know doing that you know I started just evolving more in terms of gathering uh, information a lot more easier you know and that kind of healed a part of the mental blockages the mental blockage I had for learning so yeah like like way back in the past when I had a tutor uh, I don't remember this at all but this is what I'm here this is what I heard from you know you know certain family members you know and they would they they would they would say that the tutor would tell them that I had really slow you know developmental developmental problems and that they were unable to teach me and whatnot and so you know I pretty much had to learn specific things on my own and you know I was indeed you know slowly developed you know but I think I believe that you know during like a, I, I believe yeah middle school it was or so when I started to find you know you know a passion passions for you know go getting getting to that next level you know if finding passions for you know geniuses you know like Albert Einstein etc cetera, etc cetera, those, those were like role models to me you know but yeah totally but um but yeah some closing some closing words you know as I started to do some you know self realization or self improvement or becoming a better version of myself you know improving myself day by day or so you know in terms of you know art as a person and whatnot I st health you know wh whatever you know I started to you know feel like I'm converting back to that child self you know that that focus that I had previously you know as a child all the pot all the and all the other um positive aspects of being a child you know becoming that sponge of information of learning and growing more you know and I guess the only difference would be that you know you have become more skilled in navigating the the uh, of nav of navigating life you know you, you've become a lot more mature you know you start to understand people more or you, you start to understand the world more around you you know so yeah th that's it you know don't don't let the the child the, don't let the child self become tainted you know get rid of those mental blockages you know that are limiting that are limiting you and yeah just you know 
and then you can you can do it yeah but um yeah that that'll be it for today that'll be it for the organo talks and you know leave, leave a comment share your comments you know what, what, tell me what you think about this uh also if you have any other um you know just tell, tell me in the comments what you would like me to talk about if you're, if you're from deviant art or any other or watching this from any other social media sites you know just you know leave a message just message me you know and tell me what you what you would like me to talk about you know or and and i will add your you know your suggestions to the list of um things that i want to cover but um yeah that'll be it and later guys